Hello everyone, today we're going to be reviewing the Uproot Cleaning Mini and the Uproot Clean. They're both from Amazon and I've been getting advertisement for this on Instagram and Facebook pretty much every other day. At least four to five times a week I see an ad for this when I'm scrolling through Instagram and here and there on Facebook. So I needed to buy them to see if they're Malamute approved. If you're interested to see if these two things work, keep on watching. At least once a day, I get the Uproot Clean tool advertised to me on Instagram or Facebook, so I have to purchase it to see if it's as good as it looks. I got the big one in Amazon for $14.99. They claim to be the best reusable and portable lean cleaner for pet hair for carpets, perfect for pet owners, and supposedly is perfectly engineered to remove hair from cloth, bedding, blanket, cars, sofas, and more. We obviously have to start by the place in the house that have the most amount of hair, and that's Venus's bed. She is a magnet for hair. This is the purple mattress. We have it for three years and it's an awesome bed. So let's start trying it here. And from the beginning, I could tell you that it start like grabbing on the fabric. It doesn't feel nice at all. And it gives you that sensation on your teeth when something is grabbing. Oh my goodness, you could see there, it pull a hair from the mattress. As you can see, it does an excellent job grabbing the loose hairs and taking them out, but it's grabbing to the fabric so much, it gives a weird sensation and it feels like it's gonna break the fabric of the bed. And you can see here, it's starting to pull out a, a little bit of the threads from the mattress, and no other thing have done that. We have this mattress for three years, Venus scratches, they play on it and it never have this situation happening. As you can see here, it does remove the lint and it pulls all the hairs. It have done excellent job for that. But I'm so scared I'm gonna break the mattress. This mattress was expensive and while well, she does have it for a really long time, I don't wanna to break already. I stopped cleaning her bed with the vacuum cleaner and the day we put the order for the tool like that it have a lot of hair so this is more or less four days of shedding in the bed They offer different sizes, the one we test before it was the medium and this one is the small, this one is more portable and you're supposed to be able to carry it with you in your purse or in the car. And the price for this one is $9.99. They also offer a really large one that it retails for $80, which I think is crazy. And they have a bigger one that is called the Max that is $30. You could hear when it grabs the fabric, it give you that weird sensation that it bother you in the teeth and it doesn't feel nice, but it does a really good job cleaning while I don't think I will keep using it after today's review because I think it will break the bed or whatever you use it on. It's too hard. It feels almost like a screw. I don't know if you have ever touched the screw when you have to screw something and they feel like very sharp metal. That's how it feels.
in here you can see how I start pulling out a big thread from the fabric and if I keep on it's gonna do a damage there I think it's gonna make a hole here you can see them up close and you can see they look like a screw it's a sharp metal material they look exactly like a screw and it feels like a screw so to me it's a screw that they put on the edge and this one have two of them one in each side you're supposed to be able to use it at 45 degrees or a 90 degrees depending on the fabric but i tested both ways and in both ways it pulls a lot of fabric a lot of the threads of the fabric it does clean the hair so i don't think it's a good product but while it does what it says it's gonna do it feel like it's gonna break everything this is the side of the bed that goes inside the wood so we don't see this part very much i'm gonna be using the small one for the sides and like the other one it does an excellent job grabbing the hairs but it feels like it's gonna break the product so i don't think it's a good product i will not recommend it at all well the metal screw part looked the same i don't know if the way is angled while you grab it with the thin it feels more aggressive on the medium one than in the mini one here you can see that the larger one pulled out a few threads from the fabric and this is the side of the bed this doesn't get touched very often i don't clean it as often as i clean the rest of the bed either the dog is never able to scratch it or anything and this tool he pulled the threads out and started to break in the material of the purple mattress. The outside rug is the only rug that I'm willing to try it out mainly because this rug is about to be thrown away i want to get a new rug for the outside one for the holiday season we have this one since january so i'm okay with if it get messed up it get messed up originally when i purchased it i wanted to try it out in the rugs of my car but after seeing what it did to venus's bed i don't want to risk it I don't want to have to buy new rugs for my car that will be very expensive and I don't want to go through that. So like I said, this is the only rug I'm willing to test it out. And as you can see, it does work. It's pulling out a bunch of fur from the outside rug. But it's also pulling a lot of the fibers from the rug. I'm not quite sure what is the material of this outside rug. I will put it here in the display when I figure it out. Uh, but it's like a bunch of little fibers very rough and it's also pulling them out Again, I'm not very concerned about this rock getting messed up because I'm gonna throw it away in the next few days when I get my holiday outside rug I do not recommend this product at all this lint roller to me is trash it's one of the worst one i have ever used but if you want to purchase it the only way i will recommend it is for this type of outdoor rugs or mats however you want to call them that they are very rough and they're really hard to take out the fur from it i pass the vacuum like once every few months when i'm gonna change the decoration outside and it take out the big lumps on top but the ones that they're encrusted in the fibers those stay there forever and these two do take them out pretty well but i don't see spending this type of money buying this tool just to clean the outdoor rug i will use it for it because i already purchased it and you could see the difference between the side i have cleaned and the side i haven't cleaned it but again, I do not recommend this tool at all. 